The Ruins of a Great House by Derek Walcott Through our longest sunsets that write the conscience and mix what winter arcs, it cannot be long before we lie down in darkness and have our light in ashes. Brown and Burial Stones only, the distracted member of this great house, whose moth-like girls are mixed with candle dust, remain to file the lizard's dragonish claws. The mouths of those gate shrubs shriek with steam. Axle and coach wheels salted under the mock of cattle droppings. Three crows flap with the trees and settle, creaking the eucalyptus woes. A smell of dead limes quickens in the nose, the leprosy of empire. Fear well, green fields, fear well, ye happy groves. Marble like grease, like falcon, salt and stone, deciduous beauty prospered and is gone. But where the lawn breaks in a rash of trees, a spade below dead leaves will ring the bone of some dead animal or human thing fallen from evil days, from evil times. It seems that the original crops were limes, grown in the silt that clogged a river skate. The imperious rakes are gone, their bright girls gone. The river flows, obliterating hoods. I climb the wall with the grill iron work of exiled craftsmen protecting that great house from guilt perhaps, but not from the worm's rent, nor from the padded cavalry of the mouse. And when a wind shook in the limes, I heard what Kipling heard, the death of a great empire, the abuse of ignorance by Bible and sword, a green lawn broken by low walls of stone Dipped to the rivulet and pacing, I thought next of men like Hawkins, Walter Raleigh, Drake, ancestral murderers and poets, more perplexed in memory now by every ulcerous crime. The world's green age then was rotting lime, whose stench became the charnel's galleon's text. The rot remains with us. The men are gone. But as dead ashes lifted in a wind that fans the blackening ember of the mind, my eyes burn from the ashen pros of dawn. Ablaze with rage, I thought some slave is rotting in this manorial lake. But still the call of my compassion for that Albion too was once a colony like ours, part of the continent and piece of the main. Nook shook and rock and blew in the range by foaming channels the vain expense of bitter faction. All in compassion ends. So differently from what the heart arranged, as well as if a manner of thy friends. Derek Walcott, Ruins of a Great House.